What's going on, guys? We on episode eight. I believe this is the last episode called Acting Lessons, man. Last episode, a whole bunch of stuff went through. Chose Megan. Oh my, we going to therapy sessions. Elias is going to therapy sessions. And now, found out Leia is a psycho crazy bitch. Little bit, crazy little bit. I knew it from the jump, man. I knew something was wrong with her by the way she looked, bro. I still can't get over that, man. So I, I can't wait to see what's in store. It just got super dark, super, super dark, man. Hey, man, Dr. Pink ain't disappointed with this game. I'm telling you right now. So let's get right up into this, man. Enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and finish this episode off and see what happens, man. Let's go. We seeing Leia's side, I guess. All right, here go Leia. She says, I'm back, sweetie. I got your keys. Thanks for letting me borrow them. I made my own copy. So, hold on. So you making your own copy of keys without my consent? You know I'm unco- Yo, you, you's a really crazy girl, bro. Psycho, you cuckoo. You making people, you making copy of people's keys? It kind of feels like we are moving in together. Ha uh ha. -huh. Look at you. So sweet. You already my favorite. I'm scared, Elias. When you wake up, this will be over. Could you love someone like me? You remind me of my last one. Your la last one? He was something special. So wh what did you do with your last one, Leia? What did you do? You kill him? You probably still got, do you still got him cooped up in your crib? But I scared him away. Oh, okay, okay. He, he's good. Of course you're going to scare him away. Look how you look and look how you act. I bet you're just like him. I won't scare you away. I can be nice. Yes, I really think I can. He's sick. Sicko. I'll see you later tonight. Don't forget our date now. Come on, bro. You gotta survive this. Oh, Leia, hey. So you're his nurse too? Do you know him? Yeah, this is my best pal since college. Best pal isn't even the correct description. He's more like a younger brother, you know? We've always been there for each other. I'd be lost without him. And I know he needs me too. Come on, bro. Wake up. You're supposed to bang. Not your head. Look at it. She's That's that sicko face, bro. Like, oh, look. This dude, Liam, he's a bad influence on Elias. He don't need to be chilling. That's what she's thinking right now. He's going to ruin everything between us. Yo, yo, your little fake relationship you have with somebody that's in a coma, you sicko. Are we still on for chemo tomorrow? It's an appointment, not a date. Um, okay. Okay, it's time. Look, he's waking up. All right, yeah, let's get into the juicy stuff. You, you was a sicko. You was a sicko for this. Look, look what you got on the wall, bro. That lying asshole. He has the guts to sit there at lunch and lie to me. I know Megan is staying with him in our home. Whoa, relax. You saying our home? Shorty, we not even together. We went on one date. Now I regret giving it up at that restaurant to you. But hey, man, hey. I had to say yes. We ain't know. We ain't know. We ain't know. You can't just bring her into our life like that. After everything I've done for him, he wants to throw it all away for her. I'll make him forget all about her on Sunday. Ah, can you believe that just happened? Oh, that was so crazy. Stop using that word. I told you I can get wild sometimes. See, she don't like that word crazy. Cause she know he's crazy. She is sicko. Yeah, but not in what capacity. Ah, oh sweetie, this has only begun. Just wait until next time. He wants me. Hey, figured out I ain't want your ass. Had a W told you the truth and all that. That whore. He shouldn't be in our home. He's not special, not at all. She doesn't matter to him anymore, though. I effed him so hard he must have forgotten all about her. No, what are you doing? Stop it, stop it, stop it. How could he do this to us? In our home. In our bed. This can't be happening. I can't believe I gave him her number. This is all my fault. I was just trying to get him to like me. But that's what he likes. Young girls. Young and ugly girls. I can be like her. Help me, Elias. I can't find them. What are you looking for, Megan? My shoes. I can't find them anywhere. So she stole the shoes in the bag that she was looking for? Look at his face. Are you sure? Pretty sure I saw them in the hallway before. No, they're definitely not there. F it. I'll take another pair. We can leave now. You truly are blind, aren't you? Don't you see that I hurt too? I cry myself to sleep thinking about it. Yo, she is a sick, bro. She was sitting there watching Megan's 
every single move. And while I'm at this high that I feel right now, I wanted to ask you something. I've been thinking a lot this past weekend about you and I. I want to do it. I want to take the risk. I was thinking about that we could try dating and learn more about each other. If you want to, that is. I love to, Megan. I think it would be great for us if we explored our feelings for each other. No, you would. Two whores in our bed, in our home. That should be me. Well, it isn't, Leia. It isn't you. You wish, but it isn't. It will be me. Wake up, sweetie. We've got company. Wake up. I can see you twitching. No. Let's turn on the lights then, shall we? I said, wake up. There you are. Maybe I should have used less sedatives. But I managed to have fun without you. Remember Megan? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You're supposed to leave Megan out of this, bro. She's a real fighter, that one. Megan. I didn't mean for this to happen, Elias. All I wanted was for you to see me. To look at me the same way that you look at her. Don't do anything stupid, Leia. Please, just let us go. It's way too late for that, sweetie. I'm not a moron. I'm not sure how to solve this, but I'll figure it out. One way or another, you're going to stay with me. She's the real problem, though. Please don't hurt her. See, this is exactly what I mean. You don't care about me this way. You truly are blind, aren't you? Don't you see that I hurt, too? I cry myself to sleep thick. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, Leia. So you studied her whole role, the whole play you studied, bro. What is what is up with you, man? See, this makes me not want to trust any nurses. Hey, I'm on my, I ain't dating no nurse at all, bro. They, they gotta be... I'm, I'm playing with you. I'm playing with you, nurse. I'm sorry. When are you going to open your eyes and see me? Elias? Ah. Leia, stop it. You are the reason. It's all because of you. Are you just going... She's wilding right now. She over here clocking, making upside the head and all that. Why couldn't you just have died in that fire? You would have solved everything. You just have to love my Elias. Hmm. I know how to change your mind. Take a look at these. That's Elias F. and Hedwig. That happened before we became a couple, Megan. Don't listen to her, Megan. Shut up. You're such a whore. Megan should see the real you. There's nothing special about you. All you are is a pretty face. That's it. I know exactly what to do with you now. I just need some tools. Oh, my God. Oh, man. I, I ain't here for this. I, I ain't want to see none of this, man. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Megan. Yeah. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. You need to get out of here. Now. Can you move? No, I'm bound too tightly. I have a little wiggle room, but not enough. Look around. Can you see something that can help us? No, I don't see anything. Wait. There's a gun over there. I bought that gun here. It's Peter's gun. What? Why did you bring a gun? I'll explain later. Can you reach it? How? I can't even move my legs, let alone my arms. F. Lies. What is the? Go what is she going to do with us? I don't know, but we need to escape before she comes back. It's crazy, Megan. Hope Liam knows something, bro. Hope something clicks in his head. Like, yo, let me check on uh Megan and Elias. They not they ain't coming back here in a minute. Well, I hope I hope he saves the day. I got a feeling he is though. He killed Melissa. Try to tip the chair over. Okay. I can't do it. It's too tight. I did it. Alright, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Elias. My hands are still tied though. Key jiggles. Oh, she's coming back. Quick, get back in the chair. Oh man. F. Trying to get your hands free. I'll distract her. What did she come with? What tools did she did she come with, man? A knife, a scissor, and a blade? A scalpel? Oh my god, what is she about to do, man? Scalpels are amazing. So small but so sharp. Without applying force, they allow for such great effect and precision. To cut through flesh like butter. It's an amazing tool. Where shall we begin? Oh. Leave her alone. Hmm. Maybe we should start with those brown eyes. Oh, don't even do it, bro. You're gonna make me cringe. Don't even do it. Brown like cow eyes, disgusting. Or maybe slice off that big ugly nose. Ah, stop it. 
Elias, what do you like most about Megan? Please don't. Lay it. You got to stop this. I'll do anything. Oh, come on, Elias. Tell me what you like about it. Why are you over here? Why are you over there? Why don't you start cutting him up? I know which part I will cut off first. What the F? I think I think she's trying to buy us some time. Oh, what's that? Do I send some tension? Yes. So, improv is all about saying yes. One of us starts the scene and the other one joins in and reacts to what is happening. Okay, okay, okay. I see what she's trying to do. As we go along, the story will unfold naturally. How are you supposed to learn any acting from this? It's actually very useful. You're forcing yourself to be another person and to act out of instinct. F you, Megan. You stupid slut. Who are you calling a slut? Is there anything you want? F? You're the slut. If I had that scalpel, I would cut your dick off. Just so you couldn't F everyone that winks at you. Oh, wow. Look at that, Elias. It seems like Megan has had a change of heart. Too bad she's faking it. You think I'm stupid? Oh, no, man. Oh, no. She know what it is. Do you? You're an actress. This is what you do. I'm not faking. Shh. Go ahead and cut him. We'll see about that. Oh, she grabbed her the blicky. She grabbed her the gun. No. Oh, my gosh, bro. No. No, 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 no. And she dropped the scalpel. There, pick up the scalpel. I want you to cut him deep. With pleasure. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to slash you as hard as I can. Do it, slash him. Do it, do it, do it, Megan. Go ahead, do it, do it. Go ahead. I'll take it. I'll take the slash. Go ahead. I love you. Oh, my. Megan, don't do it, Megan. Don't do it. Whatever you think you think you're about to do, don't even do it, bro. Don't even do it. I'm afraid to click this enter button, bro. She's going to try to... I know she's going to try to attack Leia. I don't like this. Man, all right. No! That was two gunshots. Oh my god, please don't tell me it hit Megan, please. Oh no. Yes! Yes! Yes, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Thank you. Let it be a let it be a somewhat a decent ending, bro. Whew. I'll be right back with you. I love you so much. And I love you too. Thanks to you, we're both alive. You killed Melissa. Yes, because of me. No lies. This is not your fault. It was all because of her. And now she's gone over a year later. Morning, Elias. Hey, James, how are you? I'm great. Aaron turned five years last Saturday. Oh, wow, she's going up fast. Say congratulations to her for me. I will. I'm digging that smile on your face. Haha, <laughs> I can't stop smiling. It's my final session. I'm talking about Elias. Hey, the time heals all wounds. May not be fully, but hey, it's going to heal over time. He's still going to have that scar, though. It's a different person standing in front of me today, for sure. I better not keep Jesse waiting. Talk to you later. Good luck, pal. I ain't gonna lie. Jesse looking like a straight snizzard. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if you forgot about our appointment. Ah, no, I didn't forget. I was waiting in line to get you these. Oh my, they are beautiful. Thank you so much, Elias. Is that a ring I can see on your finger? What a keen eye you have. Yes, my boyfriend finally proposed to me. Hey, he's a lucky guy. Shall we? Ah, yes, go ahead. Okay, Elias, today is a big day. What I've seen over our time together is some deep soul searching. You have combated all those nasty demons of yours. How do you feel that talking about it today compared to back when we started therapy? It still hurts to think about it, but I've come to terms with the pain. I don't blame myself for it no more. But most importantly, I can move on. Amazing, Elias, simply amazing. So before I can let you go, 
Let's do this one final time. I will ask you to talk about different parts of your past to reflect upon them. I need to know if Elias is still with Megan. That's what I need to know. Sounds good to me. Why don't we start with the nasty stuff? The trauma you experienced in that room. Okay. Ah, you don't have to close your eyes, Elias. Oh, sorry, force of habits. What we endured in that room has left a scar. I still see Leah in my nightmares, but I've been able to recognize that I'm dreaming, so it doesn't disturb me as much now. She will likely be there in my subconscious for the rest of my life. But knowing that she really is dead makes it better. How much does it affect your day-to-day -day life? When, I, when I'm awake, it doesn't really affect me at all. The only thing I'm trying to battle right now is how I never saw any signs. I was totally oblivious to her obsession. It's so frightening to talk to someone who appears normal not knowing what madness is going on in their mind. I was living my life the only way I could while she was there behind me all the time. Watching my every move like I was hers. See, this goes. Now I, I actually get the little lamb and the farmer story that she was telling. She was the farmer chasing after the lamb that got off. It's hard to see the logic and reasoning behind the moves of a disturbed person such as Leia. She's obviously had a strong sense of self-awareness, otherwise she wouldn't have been able to hide that so well in plain sight. As horrible as Leia was, she wasn't your biggest demon. Let us continue talking about that. My relationship with Anna. Yes, that demon left a nasty emotional scar too, something that undeniably has affected your life ever since. I want you to tell me about the most significant moments with her and what went wrong along the way. I met Anna at, the, at my workplace. I worked in the IT help desk at Bruce and Loyal. And I worked as a junior copywriter at that time. No one really appreciated me for the work that I did. Telling people to restart their PC or ask if they turned the printer on is hard to do without sounding like a dick. One day I got a call from a young woman who was freaking out. She had accidentally deleted her important files and said she would lose her job if she couldn't retrieve them. I went to her office in person as she was too afraid to touch the computer, fearing that the files were lost forever. I tried to introduce myself, but she was too stressed out to even notice it. It took me five seconds to realize that she had deleted the shortcut to the recycle bin. It was an easy fix. All her files were restored. She hugged me tightly while thanking me for saving her career. That was how we met. Over the coming days, she kept sending me instant messages thanking me for the help. The messages got more and more personal until I finally dared to ask her on a date. Being a late bloomer, I was relatively inexperienced with women. But look at that cut he had, bro. That little bowl cut, bro. What? You, you look like your name should be Wilmer or something like, <laughs> or Dale. I wasn't particularly nervous, but I definitely made a lot of inappropriate remarks. To my joy, she loved it. She got a tattoo on her thigh. Yeah, she really out of your league, Elias. Liam was not lying. I never saw someone laugh that hard to my weird stories. We sat on the park bench for hours. It was in that very same spot that I chose to propose to her. I thought that this was finally it. I had found the love of my life and that and what waited for me was a happily ever after. The biggest lesson I learned from my relationship with Anna was to never take anyone for granted. Just because you both love each other doesn't mean that love doesn't dwindle. Love needs to be nourished. You need to see the person. You need to keep showing them love. That was my mistake. I got complacent. Focus on my hobbies instead of spending time with her. I never surprised her. Every day was more or less the same. That behavior is a ticking bomb. And that one day I came home to find her cheating on me, it exploded. She wanted me to explode too, but I didn't. I did the opposite. I imploded. Instead of dealing with my emotions, I suppressed them and buried them deep inside myself. That's where it started to go wrong. How do you feel about Anna today? Do you blame her? As I come to realize from our sessions, blaming myself or her doesn't matter. There are two sides to every story. I see that she did the wrong thing, but she did it on the right reasons. I haven't met her for well over a year now, but if I got the chance to meet her again, I would say that I forgive her. And that time you saw her while being with Megan, what's your take on that? I thought it was about getting closure, that if I just sat down and talked to her instead of leaving her without saying a word, I would be free and be able to move on. But it wasn't that at all. She was a significant part of my life. I truly loved her. It's impossible just to forget those wonderful memories I had of her. And upon reflection, I don't want that. I'm not in love with her anymore, but I do love what we once had. Getting close to another woman made me feel like I did during those happy days with Anna. Flashbacks weren't due to me not being over her. There were signs that I felt the same feelings again, but for another woman. 
thoughts you you the thoughts you have about your past relationship are healthy thoughts. I'm happy that you figured that out for yourself, Elias. I gotta say, your session feels great so far, Jesse. I can actually talk about this without putting on a brave face or having a quaver in my voice. Shall we move on and talk about your best friend? Liam. It's quite ironic. He's the one who's been sick. He's been helping me more than I ever helped him. Liam is truly a wonderful friend, yup. Best bro, bro. Best bro. Any any friend, he's a friend like Liam. Even though Liam is a goofy, immature, son of a bee, he's a good friend. And yes, he's been sick. But you haven't been healthy either, Elias. I know, I just wish I could have done more for him. Back when he told me about his disease, I said that I would be there for him and help him with the, his list. But I also made a promise to him. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here's the promise. Here's the promise. Okay, you get to find out what the promise is. I gotta say, Liam, this list is a bit sad, but I help you with it. I'm here for you. I couldn't be happier to hear that, bro. There's just one thing I need you to promise me. Name anything, bro. We've always been there for each other, and I can't imagine living life without you. When you were in that coma, I couldn't sleep. All I thought about was how I might lose you. Knowing that you feel the same for me, whenever I go, don't stop. I mean, you can stop and mourn for a second, you know? It sounds so effing corny, but promise me that you bounce back and continue to live. I know how tough it, it will be, but you must, bro. You're not done here. Whatever it is that you want to do, how stupid it may seem, just do it. Because you know that I will be looking up, laughing with you. Ah, sure do you mean looking down. It doesn't matter. I know that you will join me with wherever I end up eventually. That's absolutely true. Just don't rush to get there, bro. Stay here for as long as you can. I promise. I intend to keep that promise, but for now, I'm doing everything I can to be there for him. It is tough watching him with, wither away, but he's still the same old Liam. Ah, or as he likes to say, I'm still me, just a little less. When I heard that he had a 90% survival chance, I never imagined him to be among the other 10%. Are you afraid of what will happen to you when he passes away? I will be devastated for sure. Even though this last year has been horrible, I have been able to appreciate him more. I've tried to spend as much time as possible with him. I know it's just money, but I've spent as much of my savings and insurance money as I could just to make our last time together fun. Not just for him, but for me to be able to remember him for the happy and fantastic person he is. Cancer or any autoimmune disease is tough for everyone involved. Life after the disease that starts to affect a sick individual often comes with drastic changes. It's hard for family and friends to deal with the new day-to-day -day life. Sometimes it's so hard that those people who are supposed to be your support start to distance themselves, often because they don't know how to interact with the sick person. That you've stayed by Liam's side during his battle, I'm absolutely sure that it has meant the world to him. Did his family support him as well? Liam's dad left before he was born and his mother died young. He had it rough, just like me. I think it's one, one of the reasons why we've always stuck together. We know that the importance of having someone that supports you and we kind of and we kind of fill each other's void that way. Your friendship is very specialized. You two are lucky to have each other. Thanks, Jesse, I know. Finally, let's talk about Megan. Let's get to Megan. Where, where is Megan at in our life? Find out. Where do you want me to begin? Tell me about life after you were trapped together in Leia's room. As you know, the period afterwards was the toughest one of my life. I don't know how she did it, but Megan managed to power through it. She was so conflicted leaving me here while she moved to Los Angeles. Okay, so she moved to Los Angeles and did the role. Okay. If it wasn't for Liam, she would have quit that movie. Liam assured her that she would do what she felt was best for her. I can't understand how she managed to work while I had to endure more than a year of therapy. Did you ever think that working was her therapy lies? That she found strength by having something to motivate her? I guess, but how is that better than what I did after Anna left me? Isn't that the way of suppressing feelings like just like the way I did it? Everyone is different, Elias, but based on how you have described her in the past, she sounds like a really strong woman. She reminds me of myself when I was younger and decided to leave Raina's father. Some people are like that. They get stronger from hardship. I'm not like that. No, you're not. It's an uncommon trait. Hold up. Hold on, hold, 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 hold on, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. This is Raina's mom? This is the blue haired demon's mom, bruh. Wait, I don't know, okay, she get it from her mama, I, I see. 
No, you're not. It's an uncommon trait. Was it hard being away from her? Incredibly so. Even though I encouraged her to work on the movie, a part of me blamed her not for not being here to, by my side. But I know I was selfish. Her work made her travel around the world. We spoke to each other every day, though. And that day she came back with the news that she only had to be in LA to shoot the rest of the movie. It was like we pressed play on that tape that had been on a pause for months. I went to live with her every other week. And when I wasn't in LA with her, I was back here with Liam. But the apartment I lived in, it didn't feel like home at the time. It might be because it lacked a woman's touch. Never really learned how to decorate. And Liam wasn't the best at helping me either. Red. Really? Yes, red is the color of love, bro. I'm telling you, Megan will love it. It's perfect. You really think so? Trust me, I know what chicks like. <laughs> Yo, Liam, what, what do you know about what chicks like? Stop, stop all the cat. <laughs> that wall will make her melt like butter in the sun. Megan finished work on the movie four months ago, but she didn't tell me about it because she didn't want to ruin Liam's surprise party. The prize mother... Wow, what's the occasion? I think I can answer that. Megan. Oh my. Okay, she, she trying to match my fly. She's trying to match the kid with the black. I see. When did you get here? This afternoon, but I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But you coming back here is not that unusual. Why make this nice party for it? Because this time is different. Huh? I'm done working on the movie. I can stay back here with you now. What, really? Ah, yes. I love you so much. I love you, Elias. That night was one of the best nights I've had this year. Well, until Liam did something kind of stupid. This night has been such a wonderful night. I feel blessed to have you guys in my life. Ah, you are so drunk. Am not. Shut up. You always get sentimental when you, you're hammered. Stop it. I want to make a toast. Here to you, Elias. Cheers. Cheers. This year has been very hard on you. <laughs> a part of you feels like it's going to be hard. get harder. Don't you mean a part of me? No, not if I read the bottle correctly. What the F, Liam? I got you. I haven't told you I would. Enjoy having a ride for three hours. <laughs> Yo, so you mean to tell me Liam spiked my drink with the Viagra? Come on, oh man! So, so we, we, about, we, we about to go to work. We about to go ham for three hours. Shit, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe you should go to the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> later, guys. Are you okay? Shh, it's so potent. I'm starting to get, you know. Ha ha ha! Sorry, but it's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Sorry, but no. This is not going to be enjoyable. Call me. I think I can figure out a way. This is yeah, good. Okay, all right, all right, man. All right, y'all know y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes already. Can't show all that on YouTube, man. Play the game for you. So, oh, y'all, right, let's get back to it. I'm not leaving you ever again. If you are leaving, though, please take me with you. Of course I would, but I want to stay here with you. Is that okay with you? Nothing would make me happier, Megan. There's something else I wanted to ask you. It's been on my mind this entire evening. Okay. What's the deal with this ugly wallpaper? Well, what Liam did was stupid at that time, but it led to something beautiful. Last week, Sonogram indicated it will be a girl. My son, my son Eliza's having a baby girl, though. That's for like now, now, you, now you gotta put a ring on him, my brother. You gotta put a ring. You gotta solidify the deal. Can't make Megan a baby mama now. You gotta make her a wife, bro. Do it the right way, my dude. It's so funny. When we heard that, Megan and I immediately looked at each other and smiled. We said Melissa's name at the same time. That's that. You, could, you couldn't even do it any better than that, man. You couldn't, you couldn't. The end of this cannot even be better than this, man. Yeah. Me and Megan always talked about Melissa, but only about the good memories we had of her. Even though we put on the brave faces, it's been really tough for us, and we both felt guilty. Guilty because after Melissa died, the funeral wasn't the best. I mean, funerals are never great, but we were all in such tough spots in our lives that we really didn't give Melissa the farewell she deserved. So, that's what we all are going to do tonight. We will have a memorial for Melissa at a place that means a lot to us. Or, it sounds like a wonderful way to honor her memory lives. The purpose of these sessions was, has never been about turning things in your life into sunshine and rainbows. It's been about moving on by getting rid of your biggest demons. And looking at the progress you've made. Despite the pain in you and Megan still deal with, I can truly see that you're living again. I really am. Things can always be better in life, but that's just how it is. 
I pushed through and now my life has gotten a new purpose. Can't wait to meet my daughter. Guess what, Elias? That was it? Mm hmm You did it. The last session. I don't know how to thank you. Even though I will miss you as a patient, Elias, I couldn't be any happier saying goodbye to you right now. Bye, Jesse. James, hey. Congrats, Elias. My son looking like looking like a cartoon Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Did it. Thanks. Are you up for a beer on Friday? Always. Now get out of here, will you? Later. At that, at the moment I stepped out that door, I started to cry. Tears of joy. How I had missed the that feeling. Darkest period of my life ended right there. Sure, the future proved to be full of hardships too. But that's life. Oh, and they go to they go uh Miss Miss Clara, Clara the Vault Looter, aka Megan. This time around I was well prepared for the challenges. After eight months of trials, today the verdict came in. Former officer Michael Hellman is sentenced to 58 years in prison. See, that's what they need to be doing to these cops nowadays, bro. When they kill somebody, sending them off 58 years of life, doing life. They don't do that, bro. They don't even do that. After being found guilty of the murder of Peter Johnson in a what can only be described as one of the biggest cases of the police corruption scandals the city has seen in this century. Like I said, the darkest period of my life really did end right there. Hey, there you are. Me and Fatty wanted to pick you up, but just but just missed you. This is the new Batmobile? I thought you traded it in. You got a new job, Leo? Where you get the where you get the money to whip this? Haha, <laughs> Liam. How did it go? Hey guys, it could have been. It couldn't have gone better. I don't need therapy anymore. Congrats, bro. You effing did it. Really, that's wonderful. Hop in the black mobile and let's go for a spin. Woohoo! So, are you still up for the night? Of course. Yes, today is the day to do it. Yeah, it's a perfect day for it. Let's do it right this time. I wish I could make this story better. I wish I could tell you that life is perfect. Life isn't a dance on roses. Life gets tough. Life will come down on you without mercy out of nowhere. Life doesn't care. It just happens. The only thing in your power is how you react to it. You can ball up in a corner feeling pity. You can give up and end it all. But you can also go down the other path saying, I won't let this break me. Even how much it hurts, never let life break you. Alyssa lived a life in turmoil. She deserved so much better than the end that she got. Even though they had their ups and downs, Megan never left her side. And I vowed to never leave hers. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You need to solidify it. You need to put that ring on it. Hey, y'all asked for it. Megan is wifey. Megan is wifey. Proud, I'm proud. Life for us isn't over yet. But one thing is sure, the biggest story of my life began the day I met a girl named Megan. Meet me where the sun grazes the This is this is what Liam was singing. Okay, where both wind and water touches the ground. When all comes round beneath the willow on the mind, I will rest my rear head full. That, that's the pic that's the picture we took yeah yeah i like that picture better oh yeah i like that picture better if we hugged i don't know i would have got teary-eyed probably i don't even, you know what i'm saying nah. <laughs> do you megan wallace take elias jones to be your lawfully wedded husband do yeah, she looking good with that white dress man and do you elias jones take megan wallace to be your lawfully wedded wife <laughs> I 
I do. The end. I gotta clap it up, man. I gotta, I gotta clap it up. Created by Dr. Pink Kate. Whether the storm is stick to your vision, anything less than the vision wouldn't be yours. Acting lesson. With the credits roll, y'all. Yo. Once again, it's your boy Ryan After Dark, bruh. That was acting lesson. If you stuck around and watched the whole series, you were real one. You're part of the Rad Fam. This is this is a, this is an awesome story, bro. Very awesome. Went through ups, we had ups, we had downs. Couple entanglements going on, man. Yo, it needs to be a movie. I've been saying, I've been preaching this the whole time. It needs to be a movie, man. I rate this. I'm gonna give this a good, good eight out of ten, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on this. I might, I might do a review. I might. Good boy, right after dark. Let me know which your thoughts on the on acting lessons in the comments below. How do you like acting lessons? Do you, do you feel like the ending was on point? Did you like the ending? Did you dislike the ending? Did you like the story? Did you dislike the story? Drop all that down in the comment section below, bro. To me, I, I like the story, bro. It was really dark, but I like it. I like when there's like a whole bunch of twists and turns and stuff like that. I love st stories like that. But yo, it's your boy Ran After Dark. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing and liking the video and for messing with me, bro. And I'm hot chat next time. Peace. This is it, Liam. Your 15 seconds of fame. Don't blow it. Don't forget to strut. What are you doing? Remember what Megan told you? Smile for the camera. I am beautiful. Don't forget to wave, Liam. Huh? Oh, nothing. Almost, almost. Did you see that? I effing nailed it.